During my recruiting trip, my dad came out with me and I told my dad, I said, I'm coming to the Air Force Academy. We don't need to look at any schools, this is where I'm going. So if it's a goal and if it's a dream of anybody, never think you can't do it. As a matter of fact, 30% of our applicants every year are reapplicants. So I'm getting a rejection letter from the Air Force Academy. Um, I wasn't really sure what I still want to do, so I um, actually got a merit scholarship to the local university on Guam. And then I started looking back into the service academies just because I wanted to see if the military was the right fit for me. A high schooler who gets their rejection, they might be a little discouraged. I know I was, but you still get the same opportunities. It's just a year later. And so they'll go do a year of college and get their academics up or They'll go to a prep school, whether it be the Air Force Academy prep school like I went to or to another prep school around the country, just to work on the academics and reapply. It does give you the opportunity to really work on strengthening up areas that you feel weaker and to provide different insight onto why you really want to attend. And it does show your commitment, that you're committed to the end goal, which is to become an officer. I would say for anybody that doesn't think they can make it, still apply. Even though I'm from a tiny island in the middle of the Pacific, um, even though I was rejected from the Air Force Academy once before, I've jumped out of planes and now I'm going off to pilot training. Having a guaranteed job from day one after graduation is really rewarding from the Academy. And I plan to do 20 years in the Air Force, so I have a career and I'm starting a career right now.